Hello, and welcome to the channel. My name's Cedar, and today we are continuing on with Core Keeper. Last time on the channel, boy, it was exhausting. I <laughs> searched and searched and searched for um, various pieces, or rather, various keys to unlock chests at a desert temple. Uh, today, we are going to go to that temple and use its contents to help us defeat some bosses. Now, of course, we haven't scanned for those bosses yet, so if we look at our map here, I got a whole bunch of things marked that we found. But one thing we don't have marked yet are the bosses. So we'll go to our little floaty projector guy here, and we'll see... Oh, I'm sick shy. Okay, maybe I have some in my outlet chest over here. some resource spill over so I've been putting it in there um all right well we're gonna have to go find some of that as well to scan for I think we know where Igneous is but we should probably scan for it anyway but we can scan for Ra Akar the Sand Titan who is an underground tunneling boss we will do that and then I think we'll also craft some uh Galaxite gear because we haven't done that yet and I don't know how much of the stuff we've got we got 47 and 210 okay because we've been harvesting that one fury forge up there so without further ado let's 30 octrine and 70 coral plank and the and that was 30 oops okay, the octrine or the galaxy workbench get rid of that right away and we can get the anvil right away as well. Go ahead and upgrade this. So the armor set, I'm not actually going to make. Because we're about to get another armor set out in the desert. Uh, the sword... Actually pales in comparison to the rune song. Uh, and these are all just weapons. So we don't actually have to worry about what's in the anvil. Uh, Go-kart workbench. I don't think I'm going to worry about go-karts. Traps and turrets. These are kind of just floor defense things. I guess if you play PvP or something, that's useful, but you can maybe use those in boss fights too, I guess, but I'm not going to bother. These are the base pieces, and then of course you have your gear. Now, the Galaxy Pickaxe will be useful. Um, it would eventually be useful if we were mining a lot more. Um, there are no more biomes after the desert, so I'm not actually concerned with this. I do want to get the Galaxite fishing rod though, of all things, because when we actually start fishing, um, we're going to need the strongest rod in order to get into like the lava and stuff. So we will build this, but surprisingly everything else is going to kind of stay put. I really thought I'd be upgrading my weaponry, but, uh, well actually what are the ranged weapons like? The Chakram I think is a ranged weapon. Two and a half attacks per second. 130 range damage, so. Can't tell if that's comparable to the Phantom Spark. Plus 39% critical hit. Oh, damage that those chance. Uh. I guess we'll leave that too. I guess not a huge upgrade here going to Galaxite. At least not for the things that I need it for. But at least we. Managed to upgrade finally. I thought I had a fishing pole kicking around somewhere. I remember having to fish for... Uh... Omeroth. Maybe we put that over here. Ah, there we go. Alright, well, we'll keep this one in here. I think I'm gonna do a dedicated fishing video. Eventually. As part of this series. It might be one of the, like, the send-off ones. Because, uh, we gotta wrap these videos up before... Wednesday, October 4th, when the new update comes out, we gotta start a whole new world. A magic place I never knew. Is this how these guys were getting into this room over here? Hey man, I can't even talk to you when you're in the wall. You were my, my ringer, my go-to. I think the NPCs can come through doors. The animals, as far as I know, can't. Anyway, we'll sell all this stuff. We don't need it anymore. 874 coin. I won't say no. 
Now I eventually have to buy this this card in here, the Metropolis uh, Oracle card. But I don't think I have four thousand coin kicking about. Actually, we're just over four thousand, so I guess we can't afford it in a little bit. Anyway, uh, I really wish we could make this scanner right away. I don't know. I don't think that I have any lava. Well, I haven't exactly updated these, so there's definitely no magma slimes, lava slimes in here. Kind of tragic, but I'll have to be okay. So our goal, um, we scanned for a car. Oh, apparently I drove right on by him. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, we need to go there. And we also need to bring our keys to this temple. Now, I remember I placed a bed somewhere up here. I think it was here. It was, because I remember having to build this platform on my way out one of these times. So that is... Is that closer to here than this? Barely. But I guess we'll go up there before we go there. But yeah, so uh, at the end of the last video, I showed myself gathering wherever I put them. Hello? <laughs> oh, in here. These key items from each of the king, queen, and prince uh, desert mazes. And with these, we can access a special set of chests that will give us a legendary armor set. Now, I don't remember what you use to... Um, reinforce that armor set, but I'm assuming it's Galaxite. So I'm going to bring, as much as I hate bringing a ton of a resource with me, we're going to bring 100 Galaxite with us as well, just to make sure we can top that off. Now there is a legendary pickaxe that you can craft at the Ancient Forge, but I don't remember how you learn what resources you need for it. I remember that you need an ancient pickaxe. Bring to the ancient forge, who knew? Um, but I think... Actually, now that I'm saying this out loud, I think you get the recipe for it instead of from buying from an NPC. It drops very rarely from the Molten Mass boss. So, if we make our way over to the Molten Mass boss... I don't know how many... I have three boss summoning idols. We could always buy more, but... We basically might need to farm him in order to get the, uh... Piece for the pickaxe, but I think we'll save that for future video. Today, we will just focus on getting the armor and tackling Ra Akar over yonder. I need to go here. Boss is here. And, uh... Oh yeah, this was the location of our last temple. Smack dab in the middle of... These guys, that's the forge. And then, I remember saying I thought that this was Igneous, but as it turns out, Igneous spawns 1,400 blocks away from the core, not 1,200. So he'd be closer to somewhere in here. If this maze scene wasn't right here, I would think maybe he could be right there, but. Is this all? See a, a lava thing there. Maybe it could be here. I'll have to uh, head on up there after we go out here. But anyway, I'm going to spawn in my bed, I think, and head on down to the... to where the armor set will be. We'll see if we can't boost it and make ourselves look pretty. So we'll use the door exploit again, provided I can shut the door without petting my cat. The cat seems to complicate this a little bit. Shut the door. Stop teleporting to me. Ugh. It's like real life cats getting in the way. <laughs> there we go. It's like a little finagling. I guess I just had to point my cursor in the right place. Uh-oh, wait, I walked into this bed. That's right, when I was trying to get to the merchant. Oh, man. All right, I guess we have to go there the long way. Um, Actually, I ended up using a sledgehammer to make a cut through to this, so maybe we can just run right up there. Pepper for speed. 
I wish I had an item to hold that would make me go faster or something, but we don't have such a thing. I haven't really been clearing out this path as I've been going up here, so... I guess I'll make it a point to try. Well, I don't want to try too hard, you know. <laughs> I would have actually had to turn to hit that guy. But yeah, so, uh... I think we're kind of winding down. All the things I wanted to go over in this series. Of course, there's a lot of things that I sort of skipped. As far as, um... You know, really getting into gardening and grinding stats and farming bosses and... Certain loot pools and fishing and... Finding the special mold dungeon. And the list goes on, but... Like I said, I kind of just want to do a, a pretty casual playthrough of the whole game, which I think we've accomplished. Or we're in the, the process of accomplishing, still. But, uh, we've already crafted two of the three legendary weapons. We've got one more on the way. We've got the armor set, which I think we're about to go get. I don't remember if there's any other legwork other than finding the pieces and then finding where to bring them. Guess we'll know... very soon. Those are almost where we need to be. But uh, if all it takes is to gather that and, well, in my case, reinforce it before equipping it, then they were doing all right. I guess we have to veer here. Here we are. So we have three keys that we'll have to put into each of these chests up here and then you can actually take the chest also but there we go there's the first god sent king breast armor oh and look it gives us the azio stash feather so i can actually put that on my second class that uses a dash feather this guy oop you've been upgraded i haven't really used this i think this is my quote unquote mining class but it still can't really mine all that strong I guess that's why you would get a Galaxite pickaxe, so you can mine like the maze walls and stuff. But anyway, second chest, Omeroth compass. You get a golden jellyfish offhand item, and you get these in the sea. We never did. Uh, it just generates health if you have it in your offhand slot, so it's a good way to heal, I guess. It's pretty slow, but it obviously pales in comparison to other offhand items, but not bad. Then we get the Godsend King mask, so that's the headpiece. Oops, I wanted the chest, not the rug. Of course, there's only one of each of these chests, so you might as well take them with you, since they're kind of flashy. And then lastly... We got the Godson King Pants Armor, and then one of the drops from this biome. Concealed Blade. So, this is an armor set. We will go ahead on my main and just upgrade to this. And as it states... If you have all three equipped, you have a 171% longer dash duration. Now, I don't know if that gets increased when you upgrade it, but if I stand still and dash, this is how far I go now. As opposed to if we switch to a class that just has the AZO stash feather. Actually, you can do it from a wall for a good benchmark. Two tiles versus four tiles. It's literally twice as long. This, of course, stacks with movement speed boots like from our food, so we'll be zipping around the whole map now. now I do want to up or reinforce this if possible. I assume it takes Galaxite, yeah. So the whole set from scratch takes 20 to 28. Now 35, what am I doing? 36, what am I doing? <laughs> there we go. The is still the same, but uh, it also says additional chance to trigger the soul power. So of course we have... Azios and Omeroth. We don't have the uh, raw Akar power yet, which I don't even remember what that does. I'll be honest with you. Oh, yes, I do. He shoots out homing uh, balls. They look kind of like the ones from the Scholar Staffs, but they are homing and slow. Um, but yeah, so now we have this super boosted armor. Uh, 19 armor, 27 armor, 23 armor. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement over these. And it lets you move around like crazy. Um, hello, we have a visitor in here. Let's gather our table. 
and hit the road. Oh, also, um, between videos, I ended up finding a Galaxite Sledgehammer in one of the... Why are they coming in here? It was in um, one of the chests that spawn at the... Um, Cabling Assassin camps. The little floating ones like where my bed is supposed to be, even though we didn't end up there. Um, okay, so here we are. There's the boss. We'll just head, I guess, straight left and then down whenever we're forced to. Let's combine this crazy dash with some food, shall we? Provided that I get an opening to do so. This is a dead end. Want to head left, man. I guess I have to go down and around already. Uh-oh. Please, please. And then a temple. My goodness. One tree was flashing, did you notice? Boy, I'm getting stuck. Well, this is the, the path that I had cut. I guess this whole thing is just a giant rock wall, huh? Okay. Some parts of the desert are just as bad as, uh... The wilderness. I remember complaining about the wilderness being hard to travel through, but I don't know. Walls don't exactly make for smooth movement. Alright, let's see how far we can fly now. How fast, I guess, I should say. Still a long way to go. We'll just head as leftly as possible, I guess. I think this is faster than cars, and maybe faster than minecarts. Dashing with this movement speed this often, and... Obviously having the movement speed boost from food. I haven't tested it, because of course I can't race myself if I'm... You know. I guess I could time it. See how long it takes to get from point A to point B in a car. Or in a minecart. I can't remember, there might exist some items or foods or something in the game that actually speed up your speed in vehicles. Might be making that up though. That might be a memory from like Terraria or something. I actually played through that game. Um, in 2023 also. Maybe that was 2022. I don't know. We, uh, we put like 80 some hours in that in a matter of a week on stream. I really enjoyed that game. Well, apparently I'm circling where a uh, car is. I want to get as close to the boss icon as I can before I have to start mining. But these rocks have not been favorable. Now, if you don't like the look of this armor, I should say this. You can use the vanity system in the game to make you look different. So my main file, my character is actually wearing um, from top to bottom. Uh, the Galaxite mask, just because it looks kind of like a space gladiator mask. Um, oh, there's the arena right there. Um, space gladiator looking mask. Um, oh wait, I didn't bring the sum- shoot, I didn't bring the summoning, uh, item for this again. I keep forgetting to do that. I think I even crafted them. Actually, no, I don't think I crafted them. What am I doing? Twice now that I've <laughs> gone to bosses without having the item to summon them to fight. Well, I guess now that we're out here, we can go try to find Igneous, even though I don't have it marked. I know we suspected that it would be in a certain spot. How do I even get into here, by the way? I might have to mine around the whole thing. I think you normally enter this from the bottom, but we obviously can't get to the bottom. We'll worry about that another time. Let's go try to find Igneous. So... I was saying I think Igneous is about here. It's basically just up and to the right. We'll just head up and to the right as much as possible. That's a shame. <laughs> I don't know why I always forget that you have to summon the late game bosses. I think it's because usually when you come up to the bosses in the beginning of the game, and some of the side bosses, they just exist there already, you know? But, 
I don't know, my brain's just kind of on autopilot playing this game so much that I completely forgot about the summoning details. But oh, that's okay. It won't hold me to it. Now we're already passing some lava places, but I guarantee you that we're not there yet. Oh, is this another, another music room? Hello. I always like doing these. Loot in them is questionable, but let's see. I can never tell where they start because I'm not familiar with how these keyboards are laid out. So I usually will just spam them until it tells me which one's right. Paladin mask. We haven't gotten one of those yet, so I welcome it. Thank you. Oh, look at that, we're full up. Um, what was I just about to do? Oh, move my sword back, of course. Alright, place check. Yeah, we're only about halfway there. Goodness me. As long as we can keep going up, mostly uninterrupted, be fine. Come on, game. Don't, don't block me. Oh boy, oh boy. No, thank you. Look, we can outrun the knives. Ooh. <laughs> I was hoping that we could bait him and get hit, uh, getting hit a third time. Alright, we're actually about where I suspect this will be. If I'm wrong, we'll have some searching to do. Um, oh, I've already been here before. Oh yeah, duh. That's why we know where the bottom entrance is. Voila. Alright, so every time I come in here, I dig up the floor. Oh, yeah, I remembered something, too. What's up, friend? King Slime is, uh... A friend of these guys. Alright, Oracle card, please. No. I do want to get loot from in here, though, so let's get rid of our walls. Fiber, slimes. Uh... I mean, I don't really care about the temple pedestals, but I guess we'll keep it for fun. Rock. Get rid of more as we go along. Okay, we just met uh, Mosey on through here safely with this on. Now we just have a uh, molten boss to fight at the end of it all. Now, I do want to smash these wooden crates because they have oracle cards and loot in them. Able to take everything in there. Oh boy. I'm officially out of room again. Worth noting. Man, this is tedious to go through. Yeah, the King Slime set is actually super powerful. I mean, at least, you know. You can navigate the entirety of the sea biome as well as these sub biomes in here just by killing one mid game boss. Fair trade, I think. Let's get rid of the Scarlet too, we won't need that. Now, I'm not really looking for the center of this just yet. I am trying to explore the actual sub biome here because. As I've been kind of mentioning on and off here, the uh, there's an oracle card that you can get for that deck that I want to make. In the wooden crates in here, so. I can't remember if you have to dig them up, though. I think in a past video I said you, you dig them up. That might have been me misremembering the details of this. But, uh, hopefully if we smash enough of them, we'll find what we're looking for. Yeah, I think this place is kind of big, actually, so. I'll have to keep looking, I guess. 
I don't need to clear out all these rooms, but... Makes it a little bit easier to mosey around if we do. Also, my inventory is full, so if I smash a crate and the card is in it, it won't pop into our inventory, so I gotta keep an eye out on what I'm leaving behind when I when the dust clears after smashing these things. Of course, if you move on right away as I've been. Uh-oh. I wanted to take the fire damage in the other armor set. Although I don't think that matters because it's pure damage. You take that count of damage per tick regardless of your armor, I'm pretty sure. I love that you can dig at range with the, the hoe. I wish you could clear things, uh, <coughs> clear things at range with the hoe too, but no dice. Now these biomes have a special chest set. Oh, we found an exit. Uh, that contains really, really powerful. I shouldn't say powerful, but it contains a very strong mining set. It's a lot of searching to find though. And some of the items you get by fishing, which again, I have not covered yet. But uh, fishing in different locations with different loot pools and stuff can yield you a very strong five piece mine, the mining set. Comes with, uh, I think rings, a necklace, um, a headpiece, which I've already found. I forget how I found it. Um, a shirt and pants. And actually, I think there's a an offhand item that you can use too. So maybe there's not a necklace. Maybe it's just the rings and the offhand piece. Oh, and look, we get some magma slimes because these guys have died to stuff in here before. Because we need these for the scanner that I no longer need, I'm going to grab them. There's the thud thud of the boss. What do we leave, leave him behind here? Just fiber and something? Octarine, yeah. We won't miss that. Alright. Well, we're getting there. We hear the thump thump as we're going to the left here, so... Keep trying to go that way. I want the oracle card, though. So many of these crates to smash in here, too. I just noticed the time here, so I guess we can go and try to fight the boss. Now, this is an incredibly hard boss to fight. He's very strong, and he heals himself, so... Kind of wish I brought something like a blowpipe to poison them with. Make our life a wee bit easier trying to smack them, but... I failed. Ooh, lava battle axe. That's actually very strong. Slow though. Pretty nifty. We'll clear some room for it. Uh I guess I will get rid of the magma slimes. I'm using my trash container as a an extra slot, inventory slot. Alright, let's go find this boss then. The thumping went away as I drifted this way, so we have to go this way, evidently. but I'm doing some quick exploration here. Oh, that, those are some potions. Not you. Reduce damage taken from bosses for a minute. Not you. Take those so I can have them. Now, I should go fight the boss while I have this. We can come back and, uh, do all this in a bit. Oh, this is pretty busy with other enemies. This is going to be a bit of a treat, but... Try to clear them out real quick.
Oh, I hit the boss. That's not good. But I don't think it came toward me. Now let's clear some room for ourselves. While he's distracted. Couldn't tell if the music shifted because the boss was made aware of me. He drops this stuff on the ground like crazy. Oh, that hit me? Uh-oh. Not what I expected at all. Where's the stupid butterfly? Alright, here goes nothing. Now, when he shoots out his healing orbs, that's when you absolutely need to destroy them. Hide behind this wall. I wonder if I can use the rune song on him. Oop, I walked right into that. My health is not great already. I'm gonna run around and hit the floor a bit. Oh, he spawned his orbs. Hit the orbs. Two of them are gonna heal him. Oh, I walked in fire, dude. I, I hoed it. What do you mean? He used my hoe. Aims against me. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead to flames. This is tragic. Fully healed too. Let's try to dig up this floor a little bit. Butterfly spawner are really what's getting in my way here. Oh! Stepped in fire. We're dead. That's a real shame. Yep. Alright, that was a given. <laughs> so, I think I need to make some... Um, well, one, I need to make a bed near that arena. Two, I need uh, some better foods, maybe some health potions specifically. I actually do have health potions, I just keep forgetting to bring them. Um, can maybe tidy up the arena a little bit too, bring some floor pieces to put down. I was hoping that that would go a little bit better our first time trying, but no such luck. But uh, that can do it for this video. We'll go ahead and uh, craft the piece for the next boss, this thing. Fiber plank, scarlet galaxite, we've got all that stuff. Go ahead and grab it and make a couple of those. Scarlet plank, galaxite, fiber. It's unfortunate I brought my galaxite with me, but... Okay, we should have enough for at least one. Oh, we got enough for two. Neato. But yeah, so we'll use that thumper to summon the first boss in the next video. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get our revenge on... Um, what's his name? I'm just called him Morpha. It's not Morpha. Igneous. If you watched this far, thank you so much for watching. Sorry we died. <laughs> uh, but we'll get them next time, as they say. If you enjoy content like this, please feel free to check out the rest of my Core Keeper series, as well as the other channels on this page. Or come on over to my Twitch page, where we play games like Core Keeper and many, many others all the time. I thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I hope you take care. Bye now. <laughs>